Hi right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, the 1st of November. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. We've actually had a really nice weekend. Me and Hayley had a weekend away, just us two, down in the city of Bath. We don't normally go for city breaks. Um, we're not big fans of the hustle and bustle, but I tell you what, we really enjoyed it down in Bath. Well worth a visit and yeah, I think we'll definitely go back again. On the way, back up we uh, we called in to see none other than farmer p you all know farmer p if you don't know farmer p check out farmer p and if you watch mate i just want to say a big thank you for having us let us come and say hello it was really great to meet you and your missus and of course biscuit and all the other dogs so thanks very much mate for having us so yeah monday first of november it's pretty cold today hat and jacket are on and it's a little bit windy as well but i think yesterday while we were still away it was particularly windy dad said for about 15 minutes it just was gushing such heavy wind we've had a fair bit of damage involving some trees one involving dual carriageway where we've got some land over on the other side of the village uh, a tree went down they had to close a lane down on the dual carriageway luckily they got it cleared pretty quickly just before dad had to go and help so yeah, just goes to show what damage the wind can cause. Well, you're not supposed to be there. That's blown away. I think that was up there to begin with. Right, combine shed. As you can see, as of yet, unfinished. We had this side sheeted, if you remember. It's looking pretty smart on this side. And if you remember as well from previous video, we had the roof resheeted as well. We had new sheets put over the old sheets. And yeah, it's looking pretty good from this side, but we've still got this side here to get the purlins up and sheeted down. As you can see, Ray's been busy um, at the end of last week, getting some brackets made up, ready for the purlins. And then once they're up, we can get this sheeted. And then of course, it's gonna need a door. And we're gonna need to finish the floor at some point, but. The price of concrete at the moment, well, the price of everything at the moment, means it's probably gonna be one of those jobs. It gets dragged out a little bit. I think if we get it sheeted, door on, sealed off from rats, we might have to leave the floor for a little while and just uh, yeah, get that combine sealed in for winter and um, yeah, do the floor another time. Just hope those uh, concrete prices go down a bit. I'll leave that. I'll leave that there. These special screws. Yeah, these are the... Um... It's for the combine shed, isn't it? They, they were for another job which we didn't use. Apparently, they go in, into concrete without a raw plug. Without a raw plug. Without a raw plug. Yeah. Right. Well, in this case, we've got a, a, a metal drill bit to go through because we're going to attempt to fit. We're going to attempt to fit the um, the drip seal. The drip right? seal on the on the block wall. Yeah. So we have to drill first with um, metal drill bit, and then a mas with a masonry bit. The masonry yeah. drill bit. But these are obviously too long, Nick, for, um, it's a pretty much a four inch block, isn't it? Yeah. 100 mil block. Yeah, they need to be about half that, don't they? About half that, yeah. yeah. So that's the, that's the plan, isn't it? But what we're doing as well is going to check damage, aren't we? Wind damage. You had wind a bit damage. of wind yesterday, didn't you? Uh, just a bit. You weren't here, were you? you I wasn't here. And we were away for the weekend. We were away for the weekend, didn't get it where we were. Uh, but honestly, it's about 15 minutes, about I don't know, half past 11, that's yeah. all right. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Something like that. Yeah, 
Oh dear. Well, we obviously had a fault here, didn't we? Yeah. Just where water's been sitting in here. But, uh, not all that way. It would do well to get over that. It would, it's a bit, uh, yeah. It's got to heal that, you know, and then look, if you look at the damage, it's almost, it's almost, uh, it's almost knackered, isn't it? Yeah, it may have to come down. Best thing you do is, is, is cut it off and just see. See, see what happens, yeah. It will, it will try and put itself right. And uh, you know you could you could just leave it for now. Maybe you know with the ash die back, uh, leave everything that's possible to leave. Yeah, a tree. Yeah. At least it, is, it, it still is a tree. You see how that water's got in, don't you? And sort probably sort of weakened it in this area. Yeah. But uh, what do you think of the leverage with all that weight? Yeah. And what we had yesterday, it was actually quite dramatic what we saw. Yeah. So uh, I'm not surprised. And you've got a slight weakness yeah and all that leverage. yeah but this is, was all good wasn't it but just going to show you the, these sort of fast growing trees they're okay and uh until you get that yeah i bet an english oak wouldn't have done that probably wouldn't have done no no not quite as much well look we can take this bow off and just leave it for now anyway and try and tidy this area up yeah and there's that one there it's come down on the house a little bit that's a yeah willow tree and uh it is on the house, but um, no damage though. No damage though. These two are sort of okay. Somebody might identify it, but I think it's a silver birch um, relation. But I, I, I think it's what I think it's a common alder, and uh, not the Italian alder because they're more of a more of a specimen tree. They're quite a nice tree, uh, more conical they are. Yeah. But I think these English common alder, and I'm sure that's what it is. A very fast growing. But look what happens. All these suckers, and look down there. Uh, they're all, I'm sure they're all the same. Yeah. Now, I think it all stems from the fact that we planted this tree and, a, and one over there. I think that's one. Uh, because we had a, we just thought we, we'd try transplanting some years ago. But uh, I'm not sure that it's right because a lot of self set ones appear. A lot of self set <laughs> ones, yeah. Yeah, and they're fast growing, which is good, but it uh, has a downside, doesn't it? It does have a downside, yeah. Anything fast growing. It's fast to die too, fast to break <laughs> off. Are you slow growing then? Oh, very slow growing. You're yeah. slow growing. Yeah, I'm nearly, nearly fully grown. Ne nearly fully grown. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. No, it's a bit <laughs> dropping off now. There's all, yeah, yeah, there's fingers and teeth and... The fingers nearly better now. Yeah. And my tooth will be replaced. I'm having an implant. It's falling apart. Yes. This is what happens. I think you want to grow this one. Oak, English oak. English oak. Yeah. Now that tree's not that old, but look, you can already sort of almost sit underneath it. You planted that one, didn't you? Yeah, about 10 years ago. You like your oaks, don't you? Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with an oak. That's gone down. There's a little ash tree there. See, that's um, typical hedgerow ash tree, isn't it? See, they're never the best, are they, anyway? No. It's going in, in a hedge. In a hedge. If you look down there, Nick, you can see the, A, the damage. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, how the water's got in. Well, that's another one for me to sort out then. Yeah, so I wonder if it's on the, uh, the fence in there. We've just got the road, Dick, because there's one on the roadside that um, somebody's shifted. We're just going to have a look, see if we have to go be the chainsaw. Right, okay. While we're going, we'll have a quick look inside. I don't think it's much of a tree. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, somebody had already done this. Yeah, there's a bit there. Look. Where's he come from then? How's it come from the other side, is it? Wheat looks well, doesn't it? Yeah, wheat does look well. Really well, doesn't it? Oh, I just need to, yeah, I need to do a message for somebody in this field. So, Casto, when you came drilling with me in this field and you thought I'd made a mistake with a tram line, I'm happy to report every single tram line. There's no mistakes. There's no mistakes, is there? No mistakes. No mistakes. Every single tram line is uh, where they should be. We'll check the black guys, keep, uh, keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. I think this gap here is a perfect place to plant a hedgerow tree. It is. And uh, I suggest an oak. <laughs> <laughs> you have the problem now that if all these hedgerow trees are going to die by ash die back, and I don't know, England's not going to look the same no. if this happens. This could be perfect. You want, what would you do? Suggest cut that off there. Cut that off there, widen it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. and this one. Probably spray here, this then. out with some roundup. Yeah. Plant the tree and uh, put the guard on. A nice English oak. I'd go for an English oak. Yeah. And then away it, up it goes. Away it goes. A nice oak. Okay, well, shall we go back and open the gate for that, uh, for that chap? Yeah. You can fit through then, just... I think I'd bet you get getting through, eh? Me? I'm fine. I worry about you. Need that belly. 
your dad belly. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm slowly getting a dad belly. Yeah, I've noticed. You've noticed? Cheeky bugger. Get this one sorted to see if it's hurt the fence. Ah, I think it's all right. It's on the barbed wire a bit, but I think we're okay. Nice uh, little ash tree, that's a shame. drop this one down the wrong side so it was a brand new chain on the chainsaw that dad put on and um, he only went and put it on the wrong way around didn't he so had to sort that out um, he says to me you always want a chainsaw fueled up sharpened ready to go uh, it needed a new chain for a while so he put a new one on it but it wasn't ready to go was it dad no the chain was on the wrong way around The backboard of the gate, it does have a tendency to come down if you don't click it in right. So sometimes you just gotta give it a bit of a, you know, a good hefty shove. And I have to come back for the brash at some point. I think we need to have a bit of a reorganize at some point in the woodshed but at least it's bent here doing it too near the you know near, the, near here that's bang on that is it's funny enough it's surprisingly okay that's really it's, 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 like it's, water, it's wood it? wooden yeah. yeah old school so you know you sort of want this that distance up. away yeah. Right, yeah roughly right yeah okay i think we can just... well it looks to me as if um you've got to try and get one up haven't you and then 
if it's wrong, right, it's only about two screws coming out, isn't it? We could, could we just screw it and try a sheet up again and... Yeah. We're going to go to screw it either end, haven't you? Just to hold it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Screw one end, check the level again, screw the other end in, offer the sheet back up. Mm. That's what we've got to do. Well, that, that box, Ray, we were wondering if that's going to be moved. It doesn't now because no. it's not going to interfere with it because you... Because the sheets aren't long the enough. The sheets aren't long enough to go beyond it. But they've got to go on first because the starting point for the sheets. Yeah. You start at the bottom and then yeah. go that way. Yeah, well, once they're on and the, the purlins are up. Yes. We haven't finished the purlins, purlins yet, but um, Ray's got the, uh, the lugs on. So we're just waiting for three angle lines to come because that angle line is not... It's okay. We're going to use it around the back where you won't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, th the three new ones are going there. At the moment, we're looking to get the sill on level, aren't we? Yeah. At the right height to for the sheets to pick up with those um, J bolts. Yes. You've got to make sure there's enough space at the top of the sheet for those J bolts, haven't you? Yeah, to... yeah. I mean, they overlap too much, Nick, really, but it isn't worth moving the, the, the purling down just to compensate for that. No, no. Well, shall we get that? Yeah, get the bottom. Get that screwed on either end. Yeah. Offer the sheet back up. I'll let you do the hard bit, right? Thank you. Well, it doesn't have to be exact, does it? No, it as long as we end up with it being level. About where it is. Yeah, somewhere there, as long as you're not too near the edge of the block. Different setting. Hammer. Hammer setting, yeah. Hammer time. Hammer time. Yeah, once one uh, one ends on, it'll be easy. He says. He says. Ah, got it. So you want to go right? Yeah, go either way. There you go. Is that on hammer? Come on, on hammer. 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 What do we reckon? Yeah, just. Just, yeah. Just. <laughs> we need good ice burden that anyway, because we can get the make sure yeah. the hole yeah. first. Get the level right. Yeah. I know. Yeah, definitely you want it. Not more than I should be, especially after a weekend away. I should be relaxed, uh, as you say. It's relaxed me too much. It does. Yeah. It should be uh, raring to go. Yeah, like me. <laughs> like you, yeah. Let's <laughs> go up. About there. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? That's bang on level here, right? Yeah. Spot on. Is that all right? That's all right, yeah. Right. We can offer these sheets up, can't we? Offer the sheet up and... Um, Make sure we're not too low. Yeah, because we want those um, J-bolts there to yeah. not be too near the edge of the sheet. Anywhere we'll do it, won't it? Anywhere we'll do it. All right, I think. Yeah. Your side okay? Yeah. It's definitely nearer the edge now than it was. Yeah. But... But we couldn't go no higher and we can't go no lower, so... No, because of the, the mortar line. Yeah. You can get away with that. Yeah. Right. You got it? Yeah. Well, it's definitely going to help with the rats having this sill on, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, and this is the sill on the other side. And that's sort of the effect we're going for. Can't see any rats or mice getting through there. It's obviously lower down on this side as well. Keeping it a bit higher up on the other side. Looks smart though, right, doesn't it? It does, yeah, definitely. You got it? Yeah. So we've got to go from a steel bit to a masonry bit to the uh, the torques. Yeah. Got to swapping and changing, isn't it? Yeah, swapping and changing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We're near the end already, Ray. Yeah, we're nearly there, nearly home. Yeah, we've got to cut this last one. 
flush with the uh, the RSJ then. Yeah. It is awkward with that bit there. How straight is that? Not too bad. That's all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do when it's got a flashing on it, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'll do. For future reference, Dad, you tell me you want the chainsaw fueled up, sharpened, and ready to go at all yes. times. Well, uh, you put the chain on the wrong way around. Did I? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, ah, try and reverse. It'll always go. There's a little gear, there's a little gear stick. <laughs> oh, is there? Yeah, you just put it into reverse. Oh, it's got a reverse gear. It's got a reverse gear. Ah. Oh. You see, you don't look, do you?